Excuse me? What is that? What, what, is that a person? Okay, Grandma, what you got going on? Is the lamp cursed? So that was the psychological thriller Annie's Lamp from the Forum Lunchbox. Now, as you can tell, it's not a horror film. It's listed as a psychological thriller. Now, the Forum Lunchbox is known for doing horror films, and they're really good at it. But when they do a psychological thriller like this, it's really different, and it's really fresh, and it's really new. Because you don't expect anything from them like this. This has and reminds me of Make Me a Sandwich, one of their big, big short films on their YouTube page. And it's really well done. That short horror film was definitely crafted differently and with that shocking ending. But this, you could tell the pacing was different, but it was done really well. The whole aspect of what the Annie's lamp was, was it possessed? What happened to it? You know, this woman had to take matters in her own hands because she probably saw her own death and own demise if she didn't stop her husband from doing what you saw, what he was going to do. It's really great how they did it. But I like the repetitiveness of it because you think, okay, the kettle's boiling. She pours her hot tea, she sits down. Okay, it's the same thing. No, it's different. Each scene that you see is different. You could say it's three or four scenes almost starting the same way, but having a different ending. It's really good, and I love what they do, and especially with this. I'm really, really happy with Annie's Lamp because it's really, really good. Short films like this are really seen that have a beginning, middle, and end in under three minutes or even close to four minutes long. So it's really good to see The Form Lunchbox doing something like this. Kudos to the cast, the crew, the filmmakers at The Form Lunchbox for doing something like this. And I'm really curious to see what you come up with next, even though if it's quick shorts or if it's short horror films or short psychological thrillers. 
I did love the shot where the old lady was standing on the cliff and then throwing the lamp down into the river or lake, but I'm pretty sure that was done with a CGI because you can tell, you know, uh, it was different and the form of the person standing on that cliff was different, but it was really well done. It was nice. The edits were really good as well. I really loved it. The pacing was good. And then her putting the raincoat back up on the coat hanger, putting the keys back. It's not, they have a beginning to their scene. They have an ending to the scene. It starts the same way and it ends the same way, but it's in different forms. If you do that, then you know how to do filmmaking and you're doing it really, really well. I'll leave a link to Annie's Lamp in the description box below. You guys can check it out and let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Annie's Lamp and what is your favorite short film from the Form Lunchbox in the year of 2021. Let me know in the comment section below. And be sure you tune in to my next Deform Lunchbox video where I look at the behind the scenes look of their makings of their short films for 2021. You can click that link and that box right here. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.